Hello guys, uh, I asked myself because we have all these pine cones over here. You see, um, from all these pine trees over here, if it could be possible that we can use these to get some good graphite, yes. These are normally pretty hard here, now they are, have been lying a bit in the wet uh, grass, so they are not so hard anymore. But normally in the summertime, uh, or in autumn, they are pretty hard. And normally hard wood gives pretty good charcoal and also um, if you heat treat them, carbonize them, they put out a good conductive graphite type of carbon. So let's just try that out. Okay, thank you. Okay, I have here my stuff put into aluminum foil. And this is it, what I wanted to show. Oh. Oh. It's still burning. Wait. Oh, it's really hot. Okay, I'll just take it out here. Let's see. Okay. Probably it's already too too much too much burned up I guess. Yeah, we'll see. I'll let it cool it down and then I will try a um, conduction test what the electrical ohmic resistance will be. But could be an interesting source of good carbon then. All right, this is it for now. Bye bye for now. Okay guys, this is Stefan again, I'm back. I just wanted to show you how conductive now this uh, pine wood, uh, pine cones are. I put these pine cones into this Arlo foil over here and put this on this, um, yeah, on this grill for barbecue and uh, heated it up very good for maybe an hour or something like this and uh, let it cool down then and it's pretty conductive now so we have now a nice uh, now a nice um, production method for these pine cones here which are normally waste products from your garden and we want to compare it with something like these like the briquettes uh, from Charcoal, or salt, cool in the German language. And uh, I have here now the ohm meter. I put it to 200 ohms. So just to focus somehow. Okay, let's see. Um, I have my friend is here helping me. You see, in the 200 ohm range, it doesn't conduct anything. We, we just put it here to 20k. Uh, let's, uh, let's put it to 200k, still non-conductive, to, to 2 mega ohms, still not conductive, yeah. But if you heat these up, these uh, charcoal briquettes, then you get a very good conduction. Um, we can show it, yeah, or maybe you can do it, yeah. Uh, um, let's see, um, 
We have over here uh, charcoal. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, this, this also was from it. Uh, right down to one and a half. One and a half ohms. You have to really find uh, the right spots over here. Let's see. Um, yeah. <laughs> <Coffee> effect. <laughs> now let's see. Let's get a better one here. Let's get one from here. Um, see, that's one shred here for it. It depends on how much. Well, let's let's move it to to two thousand ohms. Connection, connection. Yeah. <laughs> Man, what's in that jet here? <laughs> ah, Vorführeffekt. effect. Let's see. Let's get the whole two strike here. Let's go on my record and part here. <laughs> Scheiße, eben war das doch konduktiv. Ey. Jetzt hier. Machen wir, machen wir nochmal aus hier. Okay, now we have, uh, you see. Uh, I have to. Around 12, 15. Ja, yeah. oh nein, ohms. Ja. Yeah. So you see, we. Um, get in the 10 ohm range here. I still have to press us down a little bit in the, in the beaker in the Moser to still break all the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You have to find the right spot on this charcoal then. Yeah, some parts are not so conductive yet. But um, interesting, if we take these um, these charcoal pieces, which were also red glow and heated. Let's try this one. 30, 23, mm -hmm. 10, something. Yeah. Ah, I'm sure. I must find the right spot here. Let's see. Five. Yeah, it goes down into the one to five ohm range. Oh, let's see. Ah, I get the final rate. Hmm. I'm like, yeah, I two. get two point nine three. three. Yeah, I have to really find the exact molecule here, <laughs> the right point to to press on it. Oh, this is again from the charcoal. So um, let's see it. It's it's breaking apart pretty easily. I have to press it down. Now you see 4.2. If I press harder, then I come back. Wow, 1.7 ohms. That's really amazing. Um, and it was from these three cats here. Just glow them hard. Hot red here in this in the oven and uh, just uh, put them out and put them in aluminium foil and then really I pressed really hard with my feet on it uh, on a stone and then I pulled it out. Now I have to um, yeah now I have to make it in the, in the Mörser. To, uh, to make fine powder of it and then press it again. Okay, so this is it for now. I hope you liked it and um, yeah, could be a good product, waste product uh, to also do that. So, or just go to your supermarket and buy some briquettes and then you even have a better uh, conductive powder for the super caps we will be doing soon. Okay, nice to meet you and till bye till <laughs> the other time. Okay, bye bye for now.